G'day, my name's Steve, I'm a trainer with First Aid Kits Australia and I'm here today to demonstrate on how to treat a snake bite. Recent media releases indicate that this year the activity is going to be higher than normal, not just in the bush but in our suburbs as well. I'm here today to show you how to apply First Aid in the event of a snake bite. Today we'll be using one of our kits, however this is all about the application and the correct technique. Most importantly, this can be done by anyone, anytime, in any place. Okay, Rach has been bitten by a snake on the forearm. We're going to go through doctor's ABCD as a precaution as a sign. D is for danger. We know our snake has left the premises. We don't consider ourselves to be in danger any longer. R is for response. Rach and I are talking. She has good response. S is for send for help. Your phone, triple zero or double one two in a remote location. Put it on speakerphone, place it somewhere so you can talk to the operator and speak with your snake bite victim all at the same time. A is for airway, B is for breathing. We know Rachel has both of those, so we'll move on to C and D, which is CPR and defibrillate. Rachel is breathing and she's conscious. She doesn't need either of those. For starters, we'd like to take Rachel's arm, put it out, she's been bitten here. We'll place our gauze on there. We'll ask Rachel to give us a hand to put that on there. We'll take our first bandage, one of three, and we'll wrap it up to constrict the flow of blood and try to keep the venom in one part of the body. We'll take our second bandage, we'll work from the fingers up. So go from far away from the bite to the fingers and then we'll work our way up to Rachel's armpit. How are you feeling there Rachel? Good. No worries at all. We're reassuring our patient that medical help is on the way. It's important that we keep people calm, collected and restrict their movement. This will stop the flow of the venom going around the body. We do have a third bandage, which we will use. Nice and firmly, from the bottom up. Once again, this is to restrict the flow of the venom around the body, which is most important for your patient. Once we've applied the bandages, it's important to remember where the bite actually is. We're going to place a cross here. This is where the bite is. It's extremely important when the patient gets to the hospital, this is where they will cut it out, take away the gauze to identify the venom so they know what snake bit them. There are a few do's and don'ts. Do reassure your patient. That's really important to keep them calm, stop them moving about the place, which will slow the venom working its way around the body. This will ensure a much better chance when medical help arrives. Don't wipe the wound, we would like to keep the venom, so when we get to the hospital, that way we can identify the type of snake to apply the correct anti-venom. Don't cut the wound. It's an old wives tale, it simply doesn't work. Don't try to suck the poison out that's another one and definitely don't try to catch the snake otherwise there could be two people going to the hospital.